there and welcome to my YouTube channel, Julia McNeil Crafts. So today I'm doing a little bit of watercolour painting. So I'll just start painting and then I'll start chatting. So I'm doing a collaboration today, with, organised by the lovely Natalie from Crafting Out Loud. Oh, bits of my brush. I'm just putting water all over the place at the minute. Yeah, so because today is World Oceans Day, so she asked if I wanted to be part of a collaboration. And I said yes, please, because, yeah, I kind of feel quite strongly about, you know, all this plastic pollution we've got going on and, um, you know, just thinking about the wee creatures that are in the sea and what we're doing to them and being aware of, you know, yeah, just being a bit more aware of what's going on and stuff like that. So, yeah, it seemed a good, it seemed, yeah, quite a lot. Because I've not recorded in forever, I'm having such issues with the microphone and we've got a whole new setup and um, we're like yay and we tested it and it was still horrendous so I don't know what to do so if this suddenly goes on to fast forward it's partly why I chose to do a watercolour painting also I haven't done a watercolour painting in forever so it felt like something that I wanted to do um, so uh, yeah, if I suddenly go into fast forward, it's because when it's I've come to the editing stage, I've realised that actually the sound was horrendous. So right now I'm just creating a bit of a wash in the background, um, and then I will paint up. I have actually got a little seahorse that I've sketched out. I drew this forever ago. Oh no, that's milk. <laughs> I drew this forever ago, forever ago when I first started uh, doing some drawings. Uh, well, I mean I've always drawn and done things like that, but. Um, Somebody had asked me to do some drawings for them, and then that didn't quite, quite turn out as planned. But um, this was one of the drawings that I'd done, so I thought it was perfect. Quirky little seahorse. So I'm just creating a bit of a wash, um, obviously, because we've got a bit of a sea theme going on. I have got my Jane Davenport site. I've got paint till, oh no, I've got, do, 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 do. I think that's pastels, not pastels, brights. That's brights, and this is glitzy sea, which seemed appropriate um, to have glitzy, glitzy. Okay, so I've gone for a very loose style of painting here rather than a fine art sort of style. At the minute it's still, I suppose it vaguely, <laughs> vaguely looks like a seahorse. But um, I'm actually going to bring back the details now with a bit of doodling. Um, I've got my favourite pen, which is my King Company a Smash pen. Um, I've also got the Jane Davenport Ultimate pen because it works really well over watercolours. So I'm not sure how this is going to go because it's still slightly damp. But I can get a finer line with this. So again, it's not overly interesting to watch, so um, I will pop you on fast forward while I do that.
Okay, so that's my little seahorse finished. I just finished it with some little doodles, both black and white. Um, I'm quite delighted with her. I'm sure I'm going to turn her into something in some other video, but that's me for today. Please do check out all the other lovely ladies. It's a wide range of crafts between us, but we're all sticking with that lovely ocean theme. So thank you once again. If you've enjoyed yourself here, please do consider liking and subscribing, and I will be back again very soon. Okay, take care then, and goodbye.